Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love, love, love. I hope you are doing super fantabulous. This readings are for October. If you're new to my channel, where have you been? My guy, you should be here with us having a great time. All right, so if you like tarot, you like to laugh, you like to know what's going to happen this month, this is where you need to be. Also, come hang out with me on Instagram on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, 5.36 p.m. Central. Okay, depending on traffic, Houston, Texas is wild, guys. Anyways, come hang out with me. We do readings over there, 11.11 and 22.22. All right. Also, if you want to book a reading with me, get on over to my link tree or come hit me up on Instagram and I'll send you my link. All right? Because I will never I'll come to you. <laughs> I was going to say offer you, but I'm offering you a reason now, right? So, with that being said, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. All right, all right, let's jump into it. So, what is going on upstairs? October 2nd, new moon, solar eclipse, Libra. And this should be bringing you in some damn dirty good luck, all right? Yes, let's get lucky, baby. Now, on the 9th, Jupiter retrograde, 21 degrees Gemini. On the 11th, okay, be ready for the shakeup from up above. Pluto is going direct, all right? 29 degrees Capricorn. Pluto is this, this planet of transformation, big, big energy, little bitty living space, right? However, 29 degrees is a really important number. Anytime something is 29 degrees in a chart, we know that this person might feel rushed about this because it's trying to leave a leave a, a station, you know, leave a house. And this is about major transformations. So be prepared because it's, it's going to be interesting what happens over these next few months, guys. Be prepared. Everything that we thought was normal and everyday today activities is changing right before our eyes. All right? What a time to be alive. Now, on the 17th, Full, oh no, October 13th, Mercury enters into Scorpio. Get ready for some intense communication. Ow. All right, and on the 17th, full moon in Aries, baby, 26 degrees. And you're thinking about starting something new. All right, that's so fitting. It's your full moon, right? Think about what you were doing around the new moon in Aries, right? What were your manifestations? What were you working towards? How are things playing out in your life now, right? Because now we're all the way to the full moon, so you're getting all of that energy, all right? You want all that smoke. Not to mention Venus is entering into Sag. Uh, love is going to get very fun, all right? Now, October 22nd, it's Scorpio season. Call up that sexy Scorpio. Let's go have a drink, all right? Let's jump into this read, my friends. So the astrological energy that showed up for you out of this deck was the energy of Cancer. Cancer rules the fourth house. This energy is about your home front. It's also about your heart, your safe space. And we're really trying to get stabilization here. Cancer energy could be important to you this month. Now, your animal energy, big baby, is no other than el conejo. We got Bad Bunny right here. We got the rabbit, okay? Full effect. This is about recognizing your significance, knowing your importance. This is also known as the fear caller sometimes. And it's a choice for you to stand in fear or in faith, all right? And since we have the rainbow on there... It's all about the promises, baby. This energy is saying you're also very fertile. Great ideas are coming to you. Try not to take things very personally and have a good exit plan. All right? Now, in love, you could be seeing the number 333 a lot this month, okay? But overall energy for you guys is um, chaos and conflict, okay? Chaos and conflict, if you see there, he, you know he is zebra, okay? We all know he's a zebra, but he got giraffe skin on him, all right? So I kind of feel like in this chaos and in this conflict that you've been going through in your love life or in friendships and relationships, you're starting to see someone for who they really are. And although you might be a little hurt by the situation, you already knew it from the get-go. Your intuition was on point, all right? Now, Akashic cards are saying, be prepared, baby. Buddha prepares. This is about getting all your ducks in a row, right? I think getting everything in order, something like that, okay? Get it all together, Aries. Prepare for some greatness. There you. I feel like you have a lot of admirers. A lot of people are looking at you, really like you. He's wearing orange, so it makes me think about... Um, not the solar plexus, but the sacral chakra, okay? So you, you really vibing. You're sending out that energy, baby. And it's time to set yourself free from the past. You are free. You can go and be and do whatever the F you want to do. And in this chaos and conflict that you have going on, don't be afraid to... Um, 
set some boundaries, okay? So, so far we have the 4th, the 6th, the 13th, and the 16th as important days. So, this is a part of the reading where we get into the general, general. What do we got for the general? Let's see here. We have a challenge. Y'all could be dealing with somebody with a C name. Okay, Chris, Christina, I don't know. There's a lot of C's going on. Make a decision to work on inner healing. Okay, work on yourself. All right. We have a breakup, shakeup, and maybe even a damn dirty makeup. All right. So we might experiencing those emotions, and we're also dealing with pets. You know, air signs had that a lot, too. And guess what? Overall, whatever you're thinking about, they're coming back, boo. They are on their way back. They can't live without you. All right. So let's get a little bit more into this. Let's get some more energy. What are some of the challenges that um, Aries is dealing with right now? What are some of the challenges? Boundaries and being hurt. You know, it's like you're avoiding a conversation. You don't want to deal with something. Um, and you're very upset about it. You could be upset about a breakup, right? Because that chaos and conflict is right by the divorce. Okay, divorce. Hey, say go out and have some fun, okay? We ain't sitting at home crying over spilled milk. I'm not telling you to go out and celebrate, but, you know, I have seen some divorce parties, okay? I'm just saying, they are lit. I, I, I don't know their situation. I don't know what they went through, but I'm just saying, some people celebrate that stuff. I don't know. I have very mixed emotions on that, okay? With the pets, um, we're just looking for playfulness and happiness. Some of y'all really could be dealing with that energy of like, I just need someone to be there for me. And they'll be back because they're going to miss the passion, the the insane spark, the joy, the hand. You don't say, qua, ow, all right? Now, let's get some messages here for you guys. Generally speaking, we're dealing with people who are setting boundaries or not dealing with this. They are very upset. Some are dealing with divorce when maybe the other person is out showing their ass, okay? Just out having a party. All right, let's see here. What do we got going on with the gatitos? I have the page of swords. We're reading the fine print. We're looking at the details. Some of us could have found out some information recently. Now, that set things into motion with the wheel. And, and I like, I like, like, he's like, like, there's fire. And he's like, uh, <laughs> Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. I don't care. All right, the Nine of Swords. Some of y'all found something out after a trip, okay? And uh, somebody losing a little sleep over that, okay? A little heartbroken about that. There could be a breakup going on. And overall, it's that makeup. All right, Two of Cups. Some of y'all are also deciding between uh, this one or that one, okay? But we're deciding. We're making, we, we went on this trip. We're feeling ourselves. And um, I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to put this two ways. Actually, I got a lot of messages for you. Some of us received information that set things into motion about a vacation that broke your heart. Some of y'all are going to work on the relationship because you're married and you're going to try to make this work. For others, you found out about something and there is, there is no working on it. You're done. You're going to read them their rights. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say will be used against you in a court of law, my guy. Okay. We're not doing it today, Aries. Aries is not here to play. Now, in this situation, this is an overall energy. This could also be like you found some information out after you went on a trip and now you're like, okay. Okay, I'm going to go out and meet new people, which leads to a new relationship. All right. So that is just no. You know what? Let's clarify. I'm going I'm to clarify. What is the three of swords about? Three of pentacles and the knight of wands. So there was probably something that could have went on between three people. Okay. Third party situation or a situation at work that went a little too far. All right. And the Hierophant with the Five of Pentacles, someone could have found a receipt from work or a hotel or something or like, you went on a trip without me? Like what? You know, it doesn't mean they were cheating. They just went out without you and you're just like, I can't believe it. All right. And Aries, you, you're just like, look, we're done. So there are some Aries that are completely done. There's also some work messages here for you. If you're looking for a new job, this is a great time to work on that resume. All right. Part of the read where we're going to go straight up into the singles. All right, you know, if you're single and you're ready to mingle, listen up because it's going to get good. The 10th could be important. All right, 4, 6, 10, 13, and 16. All right, let's see here. What do we have for our beautiful singles? What do we have for our singles this month? We have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we got experiencing a breakup. Okay, okay. 
and a lot of sexual chemistry and intimacy going on and we could have found out something financially about somebody that we're just like not feeling okay so what's up with this water sign energy what's this about oh ow, we got what we got we have our soulmate. Okay, we're like, maybe that's why Cancer came out on your read, right? Cancer was like, hey, baby, you know me. So we got soulmates coming in or soulmates. What do we got? Divorce, outdated thinking, experiencing a breakup, replaying events over and over in your head. That could be the chaos and the conflict. You're preparing to set yourself free from that. And then we have intimacy, a new beginning. We're setting ourselves free. Tragic endings. And with the gambler, we need a ground. Okay, we gotta ground that energy. Don't overspend. Don't let it get. Don't let it get to you. Okay. Okay. Let's see, friends. Let's see. What are our singles going through right now? Okay. Ace of Cups. We're coming in hot. Ow, ow. Got a little cup of love, baby. We're ready to. Drink from the finest cup. But hold up. Hold, hold the phone. Okay. Hold up. We're not dipping in our pockets. Okay. But I think a lot of us are going out. We're having fun. But we're not giving as much as we used to. The Knight of Wands energy is like, I think it's like the funnest night of the deck. Ah, okay. Um, we, some of us are releasing a very committed relationship or situation. I always like to look at this card because like, Seeing things in a different perspective, right? And we're setting ourselves free. Like, if I'm looking at these two cards together, right? And I know I'm stuck in a situation. I need to see things from a different perspective. And so you're going to start looking at things differently, all right? And what else can they expect this month? The King of Swords. Ew. Okay. And overall, single and we don't know if we even want to mingle. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. We're like, look, I'm feeling myself. I like this freedom. I like this. This feels good. I can do what I want, when I want, where I want. Okay. So overall, I do feel like even if you are going through a breakup or a really, a really hurtful situation, for some reason, you're very open, but you are holding back with your coins and that could be like financially holding back. You're like, okay, look, I don't know about this. And some of y'all have a soulmate um, that's coming through okay either water or airs like because it's like look this is why I'm saying that water signs soulmates fall on top of it and then here's this guy right here talking about we don't even talk anymore are we talking baby because king of swords you got to watch out the king of swords one minute he talk 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 and the next minute oh and you gotta be what's up mm-hmm what's going on there this Ace of Cups, what is this Ace of Cups energy? The lovers, secret lovers. We have a choice to make. We have to make some decisions, friend. I think you're ready to fall in love. You're ready to put yourself out there. What else? But this Five of Swords energy comes back. Okay, like we're, we, it's kind of hard. Like you're like, yeah, I'm in, but I'm out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want. Okay. Four of Pentacles, what do we have here? We have the Three of Wands. So I feel like you want to see things through. You want to make sure it's for you before you invest too much in the situation. Here's the Queen of Swords. So now we have a divine match. We have the King and the Queen of Swords. So we do have some people who like to um, share some words, okay? Whether they're kind or not so kind. But I do see that you feel like there's a successful situation. And, you know, it's very interesting. I will say mirroring energy because she's looking in the mirror here. And she's looking at her reflection here, okay? And so I kind of feel like seeing things from a different perspective is going to be very important for you this month. Knight of Wands says, uh, let's have fun with the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups makes you feel like it's time to go out, it's time to have fun, and the Queen of Pentacles is enjoying herself while she has people begging, begging her for stuff. Like, oh, my queen, my queen. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, look, I'm just here for a good time, all right? What does justice want them to know? Justice says the Seven of Cups. So I kind of feel like, I don't know if July 11th had something important for you or means anything to you, but there's this energy of you not really being sure of what you want right now because you have options to a sword. You got options, my friend. Like, you got, you got people to pick from. However, you have your eye on a certain somebody and they sure have their eye on you. This person has, has a foot fetish. Could be a water sign. Probably a Pisces. <laughs> but I don't know. This person has a really big thing about feet or they always like compliment your feet. Okay. 
this person has a lot of strength. Their communication is great. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. So there's a lot of threes in this read, and I had written down 333 three, three at the beginning of the read. And the Nine of Pentacles has this Six of Pentacles vibe. I feel like, okay, this is the this is what I'm getting. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into story time. All right, are you ready? Here's a little story about Jack and Diane. No, I'm just playing. So here you are with the Ace of Cups. you got the lovers in a situation that comes back in your mind sometimes. It reminds you the last time that you fully jumped into something, you got stabbed in the back. So then you meet someone, things are going good, you're holding back a little bit, and you start seeing them in a new light. So you give in one night having a really great time. You're like having so much fun. It's the Three of Cups, right? And this person is like falling at your feet. But then you have another option that enters into the situation, and you're not sure which one to pick. So you start be being a little bit stronger. Now there is an energy that probably has their eye on you that is at work, okay? Or there could be some kind of a work situation. And I really feel like 1996 is an important number. Don't know why, but I'm going to throw it out there, okay? Now, I feel like you have to have some strength at work, not to go too far, all right? But I do think that it's important for you to explore your options. Where do you feel the most intimacy at? How do you feel the best? And I think that you're going to start looking at things in a different way. Okay, the third could be very important. Lots of threes. Three, six, nine. Damn, you fine, okay? So, really interesting energy. I do think that there is some, some healing that does need to happen, though, as far as, like, from our past, okay? So, this is the part of the read where I'm going to go into maybe someone that's on your mind that you haven't been talking to, okay? And then we'll see who's coming in new. So, this person is... I left when things got a little too hard. They, they're a runner. They're a runner. They're a track star, okay? There could have been a third party in that relationship. Um, and they wanted equal give and take, but they were feeling maybe you had someone else, or they did. And old habits die hard, okay? So this is somebody that maybe stepped outside of the relationship, okay? Or you did, one of the two, right? And they're thinking about you. What would they say to our beautiful Aries, okay? I need to tell you the truth why I ran. Your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in. I feel like the third party got in the way. And I regret what I did to you and I owe you an apology. We're meant to be together and I will wait as long as I have to to have a shot with you. Um, but I don't know if I'll ever change, okay, habits. So I do feel like that there could have been a reason for y'all's breakup, only you would know, right? Everybody has different situations, but it, it's causing this person's energy to be around you. If you are not interested in this energy, do not entertain it. It doesn't even matter if this person comes back or not. You just need to make your decision in your mind of what you feel you want, need, and desire. What does this person have to offer? Does it fit into that? And if it doesn't, shabai, okay? Now, we are going to see, my friend. We are going to see. See? Alfredo's here. Alfredo's here to guide us, okay? Um, we're about to see who's coming in for you. How do they look? Because you have options. Who is the best option for Aries? Who's the best option for Aries? Yeah. We have a Leo energy round. Chubby little face. Cute little cheeks. Super sweet. We have beautiful skin. We have, um, what sign is this? Beautiful skin, birthmark, beautiful eyes, Pisces energy. Okay. We have another Aries or someone who loves to work out. They're very strong. They have strong, strong energy. Could be a little hairy if they're man. And then we have uh, the letter coming in. I think that's Gemini. Hold on. Slim, you know, get straight to the point, Gemini energy. So these are some energies that are coming in for you. Let's get a little bit more, okay? Some clues. So we had Leo, Pisces, Aries, and Gemini, okay? Does not mean that if that's not their sign, they're not good. They exhibit those behaviors, okay? Or that could be significant um, descriptions of them. So, the locket with the nails. This person is very much into the aesthetics, okay? They are like, let me help you do this, let me help you do that. They also like like your hands a lot, okay? The star with the star. So, definitely like star, star, quality. This person is beautiful, okay? Are very good looking. They stand out in a crowd. They do get a little bit nervous when they get a lot of attention. 
And I always say this is Aries energy because I always feel like El Valiente is Aries energy. I'm going to tell you 33, 33, very important, especially if you're dealing with somebody who likes to work out. Like they're like, they're like super into working out. They're really in their masculine energy. Okay. And this person might declare to you like how their heart was broken or how they feel about something. And you're just like not really used to that. And I'm telling you, there's something about their feet or shoes or yours. Like they're always going to be talking about it. Pay attention to the 24th and 25th. Okay. Let's get some initials. Let's get some initials. Let's see. Initials. Ow, let's see. We got a Q for Quentin. An M for Mary. Why? K, double M, so we could have a Tommy, what, and another Y. So double M, double Y, Q, and K. Very interesting, all right? Those could be significant letters or description of something. All right, my friend, all right, all right. This is where we're going to go into our couples, okay? Let's see what we got, couples. What do we got going on for our beautiful couples? What do we have here? We got a gold digger. I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't dealing with what? No brokes? Nope. The answer is a no with this individual. It's not the right time. And move on. Don't waste your time. It's over. Remember, this is a general reading. If it does not fit, we don't need to make it. Okay? But stick around to the end because we're going to get to all signs. Overall energy. What have you been praying for? What have you been manifesting? If this is not, if this don't look like what you've been wanting, baby. It's your sign. All right, what's the energy with the gold digger? What's going on here? Because she ain't, or he ain't letting go, baby. They want your money. Dragonfly. You know what? Who was it that got dragonfly energy? Aquarius did. I think it was Aquarius. Yeah. And they had a, a spirit guide that was taught, or a loved one, that was going to show up around with dragonfly energy. If you have Aquarius in your chart, go watch that video, Okay. Being lighthearted and maybe not overspending to really see what this person's energy is about. No, somebody is codependent. They are too obsessed and there's too many emotional blocks. Move on. Why? You're, you're missing you. Um, it's time to make new movie, mo movies. Yeah, it's time to make new memories. All right. And narcissist and love bombing. Some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody who saw things only one sided. All right. And there's always three sides to the story, yours, theirs, and the truth, okay? But uh, there's this energy of maybe it just not being the right time for, for this relationship to work out. And we might need to slow things down. Remember, if this is not fitting you, don't make it fit. Okay, let's see what do we got here, what do we got here? We have the hermit. Your person's story is the hermit. I feel like they're keeping some something to themselves, okay? They're thinking about the Ten of Swords. There's also something about a trip. They're holding something back about a trip or feeling hurt. Almost like they know they did something or you did something. Three of Cups. This is how they see you. Like you just always live your best life, Aries. Like does anything ever hurt your feelings? Like what the hell? All right. They're acting like the Knight of Swords. So I do feel like their words could be a little bit eek, Okay. Ooh. Like cutting and a little immature maybe. What comes between y'all is the lovers, so we're going to have to clarify that. And then the high priestess. Overall, we have the page of pentacles. Okay, so this is a very interesting energy we have here. We have something about a vacation. We have some words being sent. The lovers could represent you meeting someone new, or this could be you guys reconciling. So let's see. The hermit. What's up with the hermit? The hermit wants you to know the knight of swords. Okay, I got to cover things up here. So in this situation, I do feel like you're surrounded by the knight. They really want to say something. We got two knights right here. Both knights of swords. One is taking control and the other one is defending, right? So I kind of feel like in this situation, your, fr your friend, your partner's being a little super defensive about something. Okay, maybe about the three of cups. So they found something out or maybe you found something out. They're being extremely defensive. But this ten of swords really makes me feel like when I see that be like that, I think about like, honey, honey, don't be like this. Right. But someone has not made up their mind with the seven of cups. So they're they're overwhelmed by a decision, but they love the fun y'all have together, but they don't know how to move forward. 
Why don't I see our wonderful Aries as three of cups? Let's see here. The four of pentacles. Oh my gosh, you have so much fun with everybody else, but you never had that much fun with me. You're bored with me. Uh, you don't treat me like you treat everyone else. It's because they take too long to give you what you want. Knight of Pentacles. So we do have three knights in your read so far. So I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Aquarius. I think it was Aquarius. But the three knights roll up into a read for me. Okay. We're not sticking around to see who's going to win the argument, Aries. We're going to get our back. We're going to get our phone. And we're going to walk away cutely. Okay. Walks away cutely. Like my, my, my sister. My baby says. Yes. We're going to walk away cutely. Knight of Swords. What do we have here? The Queen of Pentacles. This person wants you to kind of beg for forgiveness almost. Like, you need to beg me. Why? There's going to be an intense conversation. They want an apology. Okay? Or you do. Somebody wants an apology. What is this lovers about? The Three of Pentacles. We're going to work on it. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to make it work. We're going to work on it. And some of y'all can't let it go. Okay? The number 35 might be important to you. The high priestess, she got our bag to it. She's like, don't, don't even bother me with this. <laughs> like the high priestess is like, I already knew. Okay, I'm gonna make my decision with the judgment. And then we have, I always wanna say kiss my grits when I see this card, because I wanna see something else, but I remember when I was little, I used to say kiss my grits. Yeah, I'm showing my age. Anyways, this person, is wanting, okay, either you want them to beg for forgiveness or they want you to. Either way it goes, I feel like there's a lot of, like, mind games going on here. Be very careful if there is a night of drinking. They want to get information out of you. Look, four of swords. I'm telling you, they want to get something out of you, okay? And they want to do it very shockingly. What I do have here now is a 2 2 2 situation, and I would say it's going to be very important for you to get to the bottom of this, okay? This is interesting energy. Like I said, it does still have nothing to do with your relationship, my love. Just wait till the end, okay? We're going to talk about something else. Now, I don't really like this energy to say. I feel like your partner is being very demanding and Get it? Like, they want you to andar rogándolos, okay? Oh, my God. I am so sorry. And we all know fire signs, we don't be begging for nothing, okay? Fire signs do not beg. We do not do that. But there is almost like, I want you to kiss my bottom. I want you to beg me. I want you to beg me. I want you to beg me. And you're just like, dude, like, I mean, it was great while we were together, but I'm moving on. There's a lot of codependency in this relationship. So let's get a little bit of, like, what, what is some energy that uh, Aries needs to know about that they can't see right now? There's the key. Okay, key. There's that 33. Cross. Key information is going to be a burden. Okay? It's new. New information's coming through. Okay? And it might be about a little sexy time or an argument. There's a new, there's a new sheriff in town. Okay? Yep. There's something new coming in. And there's a snake. So, look, there's information that's going to be coming in. Be prepared. Do not react. If the, if the uh, situation gets a little heated, throw up the deuce, boo. And you could be seeing the number 333 and 111. And the number 36 is very important. So let's just get guidance for you guys. Because that was like a very intense read, Aries. Like, I don't know. It's pretty much it says no and move on. Like, if your partner has some addiction and codependency, like, show them the door, okay? There's the door, man. Okay? All right, let's see here. Oh, <laughs> right out the gate, deceit. There's something about financial deceit, okay? There's going to be a little bit of an argument coming through. Deceit about a trip. Oh, don't give them your money. Do not offer to pay, okay? And when they get hostile, get out of there, okay? Okay. And use your throat chakra, but do it from a distance if they become aggressive with their words. Oh, my God, Aries. I don't know. I don't know who that was for, but um, if it helps, I would like to hear about it. Okay, this is a part of the reading where we go. Aries of Isis. Ew, ew, ew. All right, lucky days. 
third, fourth, sixth, tenth, thirteenth, sixteenth, twenty-four, twenty-five. I really want to say that 25th is going to be importante. Okay, I can't find my dice. So I'm going to pause the video. Because I, oh, no, here it is. There it goes. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. One more shuffle. I'm cutting the deck. We have the magician with temperance reverse. Two majors. There's a major decision. Do not rush the decision. Sit in your power. Do not make a decision from an unbalanced place. There's going to be a lot of revelations this month. Remember the chaos and conflict. One thing is going to appear as something else. And you are always prepared to set that energy free. Okay. Moving on. All right, we're ready. Okay. Aries, you are in a non-traditional relationship kind of vibe, okay? And um, Aries is not moving on it. They don't like the energy. And we are not... This is a really tough situation because there's a lot of like, I'm not changing, I'm not changing, we'll don't change, okay? Important date is the ninth. Here you are as the Three of Cups reversed. And Taurus does not want to rewrite the story. And overall, we really want this to work. I feel like almost like you poured a lot into this situation. They did too. Y'all might have children together. And I think it's going to be very important for you guys to really work on this energy if you see fit. Y'all also are really good friends, okay? Really, really good friends. And maybe that needs to be built on. The 17th could be important. Here you are as the Princess of Cup, ready to pour some love in on somebody, baby. And then we have, okay, I don't know why all this energy is coming in right now while I'm on here. Okay, sorry. Gemini, Gemini is on hot fire for you, okay? They want to whoop, 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 okay? And we are in control. I do feel like in this situation with the ma magician and the Nunska right here with his, I, they think you're fucking magical. Yeah, I love it, the 15th. Okay, Ten of Swords reversed. You're like, uh, you feel a little bit like hurt, okay? Um, Cancer's praying about the situation, and it's important for you to trust your intuition. What is Cancer praying about? What is Cancer praying about? What are they praying about? Let's see here. They want to have a conversation. They want to go have a drink, a cup of coffee with you. They want to build on this friendship. Important day is the 18th. Here you are is the hermit. Little take it easy, holding back. And Leo says, you already heard me too many times. The solution is we need to make a decision. What do we want? Somebody could have been seduced. They could have been tempted. All right. The six could be important. You are heartbroken with the three of swords. And Virgo feels like they got you, boo. There's so much love there. But y'all ain't want to see that. Y'all ain't want to see it. The fifth could be important. All right. The six of cups. I think I think Virgo heard you. Okay. Anyways. Six of cups. All right. Here you are. Living in the past. Feeling pleasure. And Libra said we built this city on rock and roll, baby. We are so cool. Okay. We are good. Let's get married. Libra loves them some Aries. All right. The 20th could be important. Here you are is the moon. You're all in your feelers. You're feeling everything. And Scorpio said eh, can I get some can we talk can we make this work but someone sees the other person as a player 12th could be important all right we are at the seven of swords we're either getting information or trying to hide it okay and Sagittarius is gonna come and get you all right Sag said come here come here Aries we gotta talk there is a lot of conflict we need to let this conflict go we need to let the truth come out the 13th could be important. You feel like you overgave in this situation and Capricorn is not trying to stay strong with you, Aries. Okay? Put a little love in your heart. You could also be having some third-party energy, either a mother or um, just some kind of an energy trying to make it better, but they could be making it worse. Okay? The 4th could be important. Here you are as the devil, okay? And Aquarius is praying about you, baby. They're praying and not listening to their prayers. Like, they're not listening to the answers of the prayer. They've got to get more security. There's some trust issues going on. The solution is, oh, the solution is passion, but I do feel like there's a big secret being kept, okay? Now, here you are as the world reversed. You did not like the way something ended, and Pisces is not going to work on it. Pisces says, Shabai, okay? And they feel like y'all are enemies, and it was too much to carry. All right, your lucky day is the first. All right, my love, I hope that you had fun with me tonight. Let's come back and hang out, and don't forget to come visit me on Insta. All right, take care. Bye.